So I had no intention of filming this, but I've been told I have to film this for tomorrow's vlog by my lovely girlfriend, Mazzy. What am I filming it for, Mazzy? We always add your meal every day, don't we? Oh, don't give me my nah, pyjamas! Get... <laughs> Why aren't I eating it, Mazzy? Why can't I just eat it? I wish you would. I'm a bit disappointed because I did say to Mazzy with the scotch eggs, can you cut them into four? Yeah, but they're fresh out of the oven and they're difficult to cut when they're fresh out of the But oven. I didn't mean the egg itself, Mazzy. I meant just cut... You know, scotch eggs come in like a big round thing. I don't know what you call this, like a meatball. I wanted the meatball cutting in four, but the egg keeping into one piece. But she's cut them into four, look. Ruined it. But never mind, I'm sure it'll be lovely. But thank you very much, Mazzy. You're welcome. <laughs> Good morning to one and all. Good morning! How are you today? And anyway, what we think it was winter here, wasn't it? We're all packed up. <laughs> it, it's getting colder now. Yeah. It's like we've been, we buy ice for the van, and you've noticed this morning the ice hasn't melted this morning, which is a first for us. Yeah. This uh, summer. Summer. It's ridiculous. Right, we've stopped, we just stopped off at somewhere called Eski Castle, also known as Ross Lee Castle, I think. Oh. Um, I haven't read anything about it, I'll be honest with you. I'm just not in the mood for reading. So I've taken loads of pictures and you can read them all yourself if you want to pause them and have a good look. But I did read that there's actually like a secret passage, a secret way to get to the top of this castle. Come on! <laughs> so that's the only reason I've stopped really. So Mazzy can play for a bit, use a bit of energy up. You know, you've got to it kids, haven't you? Well, first impression. First impression is I'm disgusted, Mazzy. Why? Somebody's come here and had a bonfire. Oh in yeah. The castle. That's terrible. Look at all the fireplaces. Oh my gosh, I'm in my element, aren't I? <laughs> Love it. It's all right. This is a this is slightly different to what we usually see. I don't think there's a way up there. Not from this side, anyway. Yeah, but it's secret, isn't it? There is a oh, what? there is a secret. How there. did you find that? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. This is like a fireplace. This is wonderful. Oh my gosh. Oh, you should have took the camera with you. Wow. Are you going to attempt to get up? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I'm going to film this on the phone. Ooh. Come on, Mazzy. Oh my god. So that's the hardest bit. Oh, you've got to mind your head, didn't you? You've really got to mind your head. Right, let's try and get up these steps. Be very careful, Mazzy, because I've got a torch and you haven't. This is actually so secret. Yeah, I can't hardly see the steps. Oh my god, they're huge steps too. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It just keeps going and going and going. Oh, be careful up here. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, be careful of them steps, Mazzy. Really careful. Slopey and slippery. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. Oh. That was difficult. Let me just see if I can show you down there. Oh, it's not showing up very well. A little bit dodgy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this is scary, isn't it? It is. Don't go anywhere near that edge. Wow. You know the best part of it, Mazzy? Yeah? That's not it. Really? There's another secret passage. <laughs> really? We can get higher. Oh my gosh. What's behind this wall over there, darling? I don't know. Wow. Imagine coming here and missing this, this secret bit. I don't like it though. Why? Without the barrier there, it's, yeah, it's very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. As you can see, that goes straight down. You stand at the other side of me. I don't want you going over Oh, the you're so protective. Do you want to have a look round there? I'll just take them round for a second, yep. Yeah. I don't want you coming round. Be careful. Oh. Oh, do I need to come? I don't know yet. Hang on. No, it's just a dead end, Mazzy. Oh, lovely window out to the sea. Look at that for a view. 
I can see what looks like a secret room up there too. Yeah, but we can't get up there, can we? But what's this secret bit you just said? Yeah, if you go around this way, Mazzy, there's another secret passage way. Oh! Go on, you fill your boots. Use up all your energy. I want you to have a sleep this afternoon. <laughs> oh, well, but that's gusty. Oh, wow! <laughs> Come on! Okay. You almost feel like you shouldn't be up here. quite high up now. This must be the top of the castle. Oh, what a view! This is well good, babe. I'm a little bit scared. I'll be honest with you, I'm more scared than you are at the moment. <laughs> I want to hold on to you. Oh, wow. That's well good. Wow. Now, this coastal road here, um, you can park there in your motorhomes and campers. All along the coast road, there's lots of places apparently. Good signal on the phone if anyone's interested. I love it, they've even gone to the effort to fly the flag. Look, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> to be honest, I'm really struggling just to look that way. It's scary. It is very scary. Go on, you go first, I'll hold on to you from behind. I don't behind. know if I want to go anywhere, Mazzy, to be <laughs> honest, apart from down. Right, I'll let you take over. Oh gosh, the floor is so unable. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Miss Halls, Mazzy. Miss yeah. Halls. <laughs> oh. This is the other side. You've got the little pier down here. There's quite a few fishermen today. People about to go out surfing. It's a big surfing spot as well, is this? Incredible. So that's all the way down. The thing is, and this happens a lot, you know, Mazzy says, what are we doing today? And I, I reel off what we're doing and she's, oh, that ain't really the kind of day I fancied. I wanted a walk today, that's why, you promised. <laughs> but you're yeah. happy now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I love the fact, right, we're up here and everyone's probably looking up thinking, how did they get up there? Yeah, it's a secret. It's a secret. Way. Shh, don't tell no one. <laughs> Car park down here with toilets. Oh, yeah, they're going surfing. Yeah, they're going surfing, yeah. With toilets there, but you can't get in here in your motorhome. It's got a height barrier at the front. Calm down. You're so scared. Look at him. He's like hanging on for dear life. I don't, don't like it. I don't like it. Don't move. No, I won't. We just did a full circle around the top here, thinking we can get down. Now we've got to go back. <laughs> yeah, Mum. Let's go back. That's half the fun now, isn't it? Trying no. to fi find our way out. This isn't fun. I'm not enjoying it now. He's actually holding on to me. Can you see this? <laughs> Can you see this? <laughs> Just be careful. Yeah, it's very dangerous. <sighs> that was a challenge. Scary. It's our last stretch. Oh, of, oh be careful. This is our last stretch. Right, mind your head though, sweetie, because I'm not being like. Right, tell me when I can stand. Can I stand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was well good. That was scary. Yeah. All not for the, the faint hearted, so if you want to attempt that, do it, but. A little bit dangerous, the steps too. It is dangerous. What I can't figure out though now, let's say they've got a fire burning in there, that's going to go straight up that passage, isn't it, all the smoke? Well, that's interesting, yeah. If this was a fireplace, why, that must have actually been a secret passage. Yeah. In the day it was a castle, because this would have been the fireplace. Yeah, which is quite cool. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it, I liked it. Bit of adventure first thing in the morning. Yeah, it was good. But I won't be doing that again in a hurry. <laughs> so there you go, Rosalie Castle. 
interesting place. Well, good fun. Um, it's, it's made me realise every time I go to places like this now, I'm going to check the fireplaces. Mm. <laughs> right. Yeah, as I say, I haven't found out any facts on the place. I'm just not in the mood for learning about things today, which isn't like me. You're tired, aren't you? I am you? tired, I am tired. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've taken pictures of all the boards, so if you want to just pause them and read them if you're interested, you can find out all about it. We've never had that noise before. the other day yeah. I think we've bent it slightly and it's just touching the metal and it's just rattling there's no I in we we is spelt W-E I'm hoping when we get driving it's going to stop <laughs> moving on moving on so our next spot sounds you were just telling me about it sounds really interesting um, it's usually a spot we'd have to pay it's five euros each and I think they do tours and there's like a visitor centre it's called Caro Moor Neolithic tombs or something, and I read that was 30 tombs. But because of the virus, there's no charges till next year, and it's just a walk around yourself, I think. Mm. Which they're doing quite a lot now in Ireland, aren't they? With yeah. a lot of sort of tourist sites. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. Bit of a drive, but well, going to be well worth it. Loads of scooters out today. So we've got a board here, this is the visitor's centre, which is shut down, which I knew. And look at all these red dots, these are all different, dominate, what do they call them? Dolmens, burial things, ancient sites. So I don't know, we'll just have a little walk around and see if we can find a couple for you. See a big one. Can you? Mm -hmm. Right, you've got something there. It's starting to belt it down now, this were a bad idea. Yeah. She there don't seem to be no notice boards either. I think the whole purpose of getting the information is from the tours, isn't it? Yeah, you get a tour normally. So it's just a matter of looking around. It is, but I really don't want to do much of it, Mazzy, because it's, it's belting it down. Let's I'd... just go to this big one. Let's yeah. show them the big one. There's a big one. We definitely have to go to the big one. I'm in my element. We can go here. We think we can. We think we can. We can definitely get protected from the wind, Mazzy, that's the main oh, thing. Oh, I thought there was going to be a roof. <laughs> this looks cool, though. Out of the wind and the rain, that's good. OK, so big tomb in the middle. That's got to be one of the biggest ads. Oh, no, of course not. But it's still big, isn't it? It is, but I don't like it. You don't? No. I don't like all this feel. Well, I never knew that the Neolithic invented this stuff. <laughs> Farmers have been using this for thousands of years then. No, I don't like it, I'll tell you why. Why? Well, you see the big slab on top? Yeah. It's got, like, things put in, look. They've obviously rebuilt this. Yeah. Which I don't like. I like to see it natural. But yeah, maybe there was someone buried... Well, there will have been someone buried in there once upon a time. One big piece of rock. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. Just looking at your head and the rock, Mazzy, it, it is massive. So whenever you see one of these in the when they were built, they would have been fully covered with stones. Um, but they've dug a few of them out in Ireland. There's some beauties in Ireland. We've been what do you mean few. by they would have been covered in stones? Well, this bit what we stood in, Mazzy. Yeah. You wouldn't have been able to get in it. Oh, really? It would have just been a big mound of stones on top of it, and they've excavated it. For just one it. of those? Yeah, for just one of those. Oh. Someone very important in the old Neolithic times. 
So there's another one up there. There's one, two, three there. There's one there. There's one there. We've shown you that one. We've shown you that one. There's also some on the other side of the road. We might have a quick look over there. You can see one in the distance right down there. But we're not going round them all. I'll tell you that for a start. The weather's just rubbish. But uh, we've shown you the main one. That's the main thing. So some of these are just like stone circles. There's another one here. Just blobs of ancient stones and there's some in the other field as well. I don't know if we can get in there. Something up there looks interesting. We might have a look at that. Like you were just saying you're not sure you'd be happy spending five euros for it. It's not... For this today, I mean, if you got the tour, yeah, because then you're getting all the information, so yeah, it would be worth it, it yeah. With a tour on a nice day, just walking around these and someone just telling you all about it, I think that would be I think fantastic. you need to know the history on it because to just turn up and see all these stones plonked there, I mean, you don't know nothing about it, do you? Well, I do. I know, I know everything. If you've got any right. questions, just ask me. Yep. So what do we have to say about this place? How old is it? How old is it? Yeah. It's, it's the same age as the earth. Really? Yeah. How old's that? Really old. Right, that's a very professional answer there. Um, how many would you say would be buried in one such a sort of that size? Between one and two hundred. One, one person and 200, somewhere between them figures. Gosh, you do know your stuff, don't you? Yeah, I do. Right, one more question then. Go on then. Tell me all their names. The names of, well, it depends which one you're on this about. This one here, who was buried there? That one, Lee. Yep. It was just one person in that one. Lee, he were called. <laughs> Get out, go right. So there's another one. Three people buried in that one, Mazzy. Oh, okay. Joanne, David and Peter. What was their last meal? The last what? Meal. What was Oysters. their last meal? Oysters. Oh, okay. Apart from John, he had a kebab. <laughs> but you know there were three people buried in there because it says so there. Yeah, they've lined up like a little coffin in the middle. I just want to see this one. That's all I'm bothered about. A little cutie there. That's the smallest I've ever seen. That's lovely. Would that mean there was a small person in it? They probably just ran out of big rocks, Mazzy. Oh. And that's all you're getting, not staying around here. As I say, without it being open and knowing more about the place, the each one, <laughs> um, it's a bit bull, dull. Bull? It's a bit dull. <laughs> It's just rocks, isn't it? Yeah. Just a load of rocks. Can I show everybody how you're walking? You're like this. <laughs> you are with the camera. I've just noticed it was really quite funny. You are, look at you. <laughs> so we've just come down to Strand Hill. Yeah, Strand Hill. absolutely heaving. In Sligo. But we've just gone over a separate crossing and we've got to go back and we've had to turn around and it's taking the bottom off the van, isn't it? Made a massive scrape on the exhaust, so we're going to have to do it again now. And yeah, dreading it. Dreading it's actually it. quite a high one, isn't it? Looks even higher at this side. It does. Yeah, go slow. Right through the middle. Not oh, as bad. It not wasn't as bad. As bad. <laughs> well done, babe. Yeah, anyway, with the weather being the way it is, we thought, ah, oh, no problem, we'll get here, no problem. Absolutely rad. In fact, someone left a comment last night saying, I know somewhere you can stay in Strand Hill if you want somewhere. Yeah. And I wasn't expecting to get here today. Um, we could have maybe parked wherever she was going to suggest. Uh, well, Never it's mind. funny actually, that motorhome there just trying to warn us on the way down, wasn't he? Yes. But anyway, it looks like we're passing through then, are we? Yeah. <laughs> there was nothing there apart from the beach. We were just going to have a quick cuppa, weren't we? We were going to have a cuppa, but there is somewhere there. Um, it's like an ancient... Let me turn you around so you've got a better view. It's like an ancient rubbish tip. You know, like a kitchen oh. rubbish tip. So it has like all mussels and oyster shells and stuff in the banks. 
what they call that something, don't they? What is it? Bottle. I don't know. Bottle tips or something, I don't know. Now on top of the hill to my right, there's a burial up there. There's actually a queen buried up there, I think. Yeah, it's huge. It's this huge mound on top of the big hill. Hmm. Will you two stop arguing today? Well, she's getting on my nerves, Mazzy. She just said to me, the traffic on the roads is as, as usual. What a stupid thing to say. You know, if there's any problem on roads, tell me about it. I don't need to know if the roads are as normal as they should be. <laughs> stupid woman. <laughs> So I found out what damage I did yesterday. I'll take you underneath. Here is the exhaust. And if you can see at the other side there, see the black bit there, the brackets come off there. So I don't know if I can just put a screw or something through that and back into there, I don't know, and it'll just hold this up tight. But at the moment it's a bit dodgy and it's just rattling here as we're driving. It's a tiny bit. So I don't know. Another big salad for me today. But I got rocket today on top of it because I forgot to put it on yesterday. Yeah, looking forward to this. You just tried my chicken. You actually enjoyed it. It's an unusual taste. It's a nice taste. It's very nice if you like that kind of thing. It's only mixed herbs. Yeah, it's a bit. It's very, very herby. Yeah, it's I prefer nice. Italian, but I can't get it, can I, anywhere <laughs> since before Italy. lockdown. Surely you need to go to Italy. Yeah, probably. Are you taking me? No. Morning. Good morning! She's taking me for a walk. You're taking me for a walk. 5.5 kilometres. Yeah. That, that's like miles. That's less than you thought. You thought it was going to be seven something, so is that not a bonus? <laughs> I don't want to go for a oh, walk. Oh, you're not going to be like this all the way round, are ya? <laughs> anyway, I don't know how much footage we're going to get. This is really for our own benefit today. For your benefit yeah. today, not Thanks. for mine. Come on. It's called Ben Bulbin Walk, and I looked it up, and it says it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's uphill already. We're like. <laughs> and some spectacular views. But I don't think we're going to get the views today because uh, it's quite foggy this morning and the clouds are sitting on top of the hills. But there is the, an amazing thing over here. And if we do get a good view of it, I don't know what it's called till we get there. The hill? Yeah, the hilly bit. Oh, yeah, it looks It's like really a ridge good. and it looks absolutely fantastic. So hopefully we can get some pictures of it. But last time I looked, the clouds were sitting yeah. on it. <laughs> so there's the start of this big ridge. It even looks nice uh, with the clouds on it. But that's nothing compared to the view we're hoping to get of it. Yeah, it's on the side. So. From yeah. the side, it looks fantastic. Yeah. So straight up here, I think it's this side. Check out how all these trees have fallen down here. All the root systems stuck in there and all the grounds just come up as one big layer. That looks fantastic. It's not a nice thing seeing trees about to die but uh, it looks good doesn't it Mazzy? Yeah Mother? I think so yeah. Just been trying to get a bit of a time lapse up here. On a lovely day that would look spectacular but we're hoping as we get further on we're still going to get a good view. But what gets me, the sheep right up there and this is like that. We're leaving this baby for now, but I think we actually rejoin it at the end down here. Now the one thing we have been saying, it's a lovely walk so far, it's a nice easy to track to walk on, but you're not actually in the woods. Well we are sort of now, but We're you're just not. coming into it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's only for a minute and then I think we'll come back out again. Uh. It's like a walk along the woods and around the woods. But it's okay so far. It's alright, I'd rather be in the woods though. Yeah. <laughs> Amongst the nature. We wouldn't need to go foraging for mushrooms, didn't we? Foraging for mushrooms yeah. and fish and fishing in the yeah. puddles and stuff. <laughs> oh, do we have to do this Come again? here you, come oh. here you. Just seen this beautiful little black hole down here. What did you say it was, Mazzy? I don't know, I just said it was like, that's really phototographic. But I don't Photo know. Photographic. Okay, it is Mazzy. 
<laughs> it's the most photo for photographer for thick thing I've ever seen in my life. It it's reminds, beautiful. Reminds me of the trees. You remember the um, dark edges. Dark edges, yeah. It's funny, you know. Yeah. I watched someone else who was travelling around Ireland last night. I watched uh -huh. all their videos. And the places they've been, such as the dark edges and yeah. giant causeway, yeah. heaving. Absolutely. Oh, we got it good heaving. then, didn't we? We did get it good. Yeah. The chances of having your own picture taken down dark edges at the moment is zero. Yeah, we were lucky that day, to be honest, wasn't we? We got so. a good picture or two. Yeah, there, yeah, check this out. Isn't this really good? This is lovely. I was just saying to Dan, we can also now start hearing some birds and wildlife and stuff. Not for long. Yeah, probably not, <laughs> but we haven't heard anything yet. Yeah, this is very nice. The funny thing is, it's darker, isn't it, in real it life? looks really dark in real life, but this camera is making it look nice and light. It is dark in here. Is, is that camera picking it up dark? It's quite light. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, it's very it's light. Darker in real life, it's much it? darker in real life. In fact, I'll tell you how dark it is. I'm going to put my light right down. I'd say that. No, it's still darker than that. <laughs> Beautiful. Reminds me of winter. It's just got that feel and you can smell the pine trees and and it, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's just a walk, Mazzy. Oh come on, it's not. It's more than just a walk, darling. It shows the grooves, Mazzy. It's so good. Mazzy wants the camera to pick up the grooves. We've only brought my camera today and my phone. We haven't brought the new camera and tripod because it's quite a long walk for us. It's just carrying extra equipment. Yeah, this is the end of that ridge. Don't know if you can really see how cool the top of that looks. To be honest, I just described that as a trifle. You From the side, it looks like a trifle. Yeah. So this is the other side of the walk. Just heading back now on the loop. And this is the view you get from here. On a fine day, I bet it's lovely. Apparently you can see, I think it's Sleeve League down there, which is a set of cliffs on the sea. We can see the sea just in the distance. But no trees to walk through. When it's called a wood walk, I got really excited, but I'm not disrespecting the place because it has been a lovely walk. Well, and I'm called, very appreciative. It's actually called the wood loop. Oh, is it? So it does loop around the wood. Oh. It's not called a wood walk. I like to be amongst it. I was just saying to Dan, you know, we can smell things, look at things. Yeah, it would be nice to actually be in there, but... Yeah, it's very dense. It's very good on the shoes, though. It's not uh, muddy at all. It's a ring fort, Mazzy. Oh, go for it. We've got a cashel. They spell it casual here. I don't know if there's by that the mean castle, I'm not sure. But we've got a ring fort, and this is quite a big one. Wasn't expecting this. There's another sign over there. It does say quite an important family must have lived here. You can tell because they've got such a view overlooking all, well, for miles and miles. Probably a good five, ten miles all around them. So they reckon they'll have been quite important in the area. So there's a view from Sligo Bay here, but the weather's too poor, unfortunately. But in the distance there, you have got Nochnamara, Nochnaria, sorry, Strand Hill, Coney Island, Sligo Bay, Eski, that's the castle we went to the other, uh, earlier on. Not really seeing much else. Mazzy's not interested. No interest whatsoever in the Iron Age fort. From 400 to 1100 AD, it's old. And look at the view you'd get of the, we still don't know what that's called, the beautiful cliffy thingy, hilly thingy, and all the sea. Yeah, I could live here. Just a few more hundred metres to go. And this is what we were hoping for, through the woods. We didn't get that for most of it. How long did we walk all together? We've been... How far, sorry, and how long has it taken us? Well, it says 5.5 kilometres. We've yeah. been about an hour and 15 minutes, I think. Oh, OK. But we certainly haven't been rushing. I don't know, it was quite 
brisk walk for my legs. It might not yeah. have been for you. No, not for me. Not What's for me. For me? Uh, what did you think? Yeah, really good. It's a very easy walk, isn't it? Yeah. Not, yeah, not hilly easy. at all. It's really suitable for anybody, this. Yeah. If you just want to sort of get out, get a bit of a nice brisk walk, this is it. Or if you don't want to get out and get a nice <laughs> brisk walk, but you've got a girlfriend who insists that she does, <laughs> It's a good walk for your girlfriend and you'll just have to put up with it, but you won't mind it too much because it's not too bad. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching! Please comment and hit the like button, that helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.